What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday and you know what that means. Here on this channel we go Blu-ray hunting. Today is a huge new release week but on top of that it's a huge steelbook day. Black Panther Wakanda Forever is coming out with not one but two steelbook options. Warm Bodies 4K steelbook from Lionsgate and also Chicago Blu-ray steelbook. There's other brand new releases to look out for. It's very exciting. So let's head on to the store. I'm hitting up Best Buy and Walmart today so what are we waiting for let's go first stop of the day we're going into Best Buy we're going into Best Buy in the new releases at Best Buy they still have the Halloween ends steelbook let's check out that price point all right it says $29.99 so that's actually cheaper than it was last week when I picked it up so I'm actually kind of annoyed with that but <laughs> that's okay Halloween ends, the very ripped Blu-ray slipcover is still here, no surprise there, as well as the 4K Groundhog Day Steelbook is still here. $29.99, so it was a lot more expensive last week. It's still a little bit more expensive because I believe I paid $27 for it. They Live 4K Steelbook, $29.99. Smile on Blu-ray is $19.99. Clerks 3 Blu-ray is $13.99. The Godfather 4Ks are still here, no surprise. Bullet Train, Thor Love and Thunder, also Wayne's World, but we want some new items. We want those Black Panther Wakanda Forever Steelbooks. There they are. And of course, both of them are here. So one of them, as you can see, is Shuri and the entire like Wakanda family. And the other is with Namor. They are both $38.99. The question is, do I pick up one, the other, or do I pick up both? <laughs> I'm not sure at this moment. Not really sure, but there is the 4K slipcover. I'm liking that. It's kind of like holographic, just a little bit. You guys can see that. So that's a nice 4K slip. And the Blu-ray has a slipcover. So is this just for Marvel now that Disney's putting slipcovers on Blu-rays? I guess, but that's a nice slipcover as well. I don't mind that. That's looking pretty good too. Oh, of course I did that. Okay. There we go. All right, what else is new? Ah, the Warm Bodies Steelbook from Lionsgate, $22.99. Okay, not too bad. It seems like prices are kind of going back to normal. The Belly 4K slipcover is $17.99 again, so that's, that's a good sign. Lamborghinis here on Blu-ray, Highlander, also the Steelbook are back down to the normal prices. Reservoir Dogs is still here, DC League of Super Pets, Westworld 4K, also Blu-ray, nope. Spider-Man, the 8 movie collection, 4K and also Blu-ray for No Way Home. Looks like those are back down to normal prices as well. Although it looks like the 4K is cheaper than the Blu-ray. Hmm, interesting. Inglorious Bastards Steelbook and Jurassic World Dominion Blu-ray. On the other side with the brand new releases, Black Panther Wakanda Forever has a nice banner going across, so that looks good. We have more Blu-ray and also 4K here. Freaky still here on 4K. Taurus Blu-ray, Violet Night Blu-ray, and Till Blu-ray. Looks like the prices have gone down just a little bit because Till, as we remember last week, was $34.99. Now it's marked at $29.99. Whoops, sorry for the glare, if you guys can see. So yeah. Total Tech member price is $22.99, so if you want that sale, you gotta pay. No, that's not happening. Fear of the Walking Dead, Complete 7th Season is still here. Ticket to Paradise, Silent Night, Deadly Night Collection, Banshees is on sale for $17.99. Oh, and that's good. Silent Night, Deadly Night is back down to $11.99. That was double the price last week, so it's marked down again. Adaptation 4K is $24.99. RIPD 4K is $19.99. Got all these older titles, but we want some new stuff. Where is the new stuff? Here we go. Okay, so we have Bubba Hotep. I don't even know what this movie's about. <laughs> I have no idea, but I believe it's Scream Factory. It looks like it is, and it is. It's a Scream Factory title. There we go. So I'm probably picking this up today <laughs> because I am trying to collect all the Scream Factory with slipcovers, so that's probably coming home with me today. Legion of Superheroes Blu-ray and also 4Ks here. We got some Bruce. Gotta have Bruce in our lives. Wrath of Man 4K is still here. She Said, Vesper. 
We still have Crimes of the Future 4K. I heard that movie so weird. Mind Cage from last week. Secret Headquarters. Still got some Puss in Boots on 4K. Shrek 2, the Batman Blu-ray. Dune Blu-ray. Looks like that's on sale for $13.99 and the 4K is $19.99. As far as steelbooks go, Paranorman, Carrie, and Coraline are all here in stock. But what do we have here? I see silver. Here we go. So we have some brand new Disney celebrating their 100th anniversary. So let's start off on this end. We have the Encanto steelbook. So this is what these Disney 100 silver steelbooks look like. Very simple, just silver with the picture on the front, a tiny little picture, Disney 100, and then the name of the movie on the bottom. Honestly, it's not that exciting. It really isn't, and it's 30 bucks. So it's 29.99 for this. No, that's very disappointing. So I'm putting that back. The next thing we have is Mickey and Minnie Volume 1. This is the 10 classic shorts. So that looks pretty cute. I don't mind the silver slip covers for 14.99. It's not that bad of a price. And then here are the other ones. So we have Toy Story, The Little Mermaid, Moana, Frozen, and also Beauty and the Beast. They are all $13.99. So not too bad. So those are all brand new. And then the usual Disney items. Pretty much all $13.99 celebrating their 100 years. So nice to know to have these in stock. I didn't think we were going to see these in Best Buy today. So that was a decent trip to Best Buy. They pretty much had all the new releases except for one that I really wanted, which was the Chicago Steelbook. We're probably not going to see that over at Walmart. If we do, I'd be completely shocked and surprised. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks, Best Buy will get in the Chicago Steelbook because that's one that I really wanted to add into the collection because it's one of my favorite musicals of all time. But other than that, the price points are going down, which is always a good thing to see. And they did have the Disney celebrating 100 silver slip covers and also the one silver steel book for Encanto. Now, I didn't think we were going to see those silver slip covers at Best Buy. I thought they were only at Walmart, but I think what they're having at Walmart is also the slip covers with an exclusive pin as well. So if you're all about the pin collecting, then you have to go over to Walmart. But other than that, you can pick it up at Best Buy or Walmart. So speaking of Walmart, that's where we're going right now. Last stop of the day, heading on into Walmart. In the new releases at Walmart, we finally have something different other than Black Adam. Wakanda Forever is at the very top. So at Walmart, they do have a DVD, Blu-ray with a slipcover. They do have the regular 4K. And also here is the Walmart 4K with the enamel pin. So if you're collecting the pens, then you might want to come here. The slip is not bad. I think I prefer this one though, if I'm going to be honest, but not bad. They also do have spoiler alert with a slip, but it's DVD that was not available at Walmart. The menu is here, Blu-ray and also DVD. Now here are the Disney 100 anniversary celebratory silver slip covers, but these are not slip covers. They're more like boxes actually. You guys can see here's frozen and they're in like boxes. I'm not really sure what's in the other box, but as I mentioned before, it does have a pin. So with Elsa, I guess you get a little Elsa pin for frozen. So that's pretty cool. So those are the options for Disney 100. Honestly, I'd probably just get the slipcover myself at Best Buy. They still have Violet Night Blu-ray and also DVD. Halloween Ends, also the trilogy on DVD, of course. House of the Dragon, Taurus, Black Adam, The Woman King, Ticket to Paradise, and some Bruce Willis. In the aisle of brand new releases, we do have some options. So Legion of Superheroes on Blu-ray is here for $22.96. Vesper and The Minute You Wake Up Dead, those are old releases, but they're still here on DVD with slipcovers for $9.96 a piece. There's a brand new shark movie at Walmart called Shark Waters on DVD for $9.96. The Grandmaster of Kung Fu on DVD. Angry Neighbors and also The Estate are still here as well as Secret Headquarters, Paradise City, Piggy, The Dentist Collection, The Lair, Gunfight at Rio Bravo. I believe that one is brand new. 
she said blu-ray with a nice slip 1796 that is a better price than at best buy so if you're interested you haven't picked it up i would recommend walmart if it's at your local store operation seawolf is still here peacemaker season one silent night deadly night still overpriced at 1796 get it at best buy if you can banshee's blu-ray 1996 is here but that is cheaper at best buy and we still got Pearl with the Walmart exclusive slip. Everything else is pretty much what we've seen already. All the shark titles, all the Bruce Willis titles. They're all in this area right here, as you guys can see. So it looks like that is it for Walmart. So time to head on home so I could show you what I picked up today. Back at home, it's time for me to show you what I got when I went out today. And I know you all want the answer to the million dollar question about the Wakanda Forever Steelbooks. Which one did I choose to bring home with me today? Well, Steelbook Collector plus MCU Lover equals a double dip situation. And that's exactly what I did. I picked up both of the Wakanda Forever Steelbooks. I was probably standing in Best Buy, each one in my hand, staring at them for at least 10 minutes straight, trying to decide between the two. And I said, you know what? I can't. It's like children. I could not decide between the two. So I picked up both of them. And I'm already anticipating your comments down below. I know a lot of you are not going to understand this purchase, and that is okay. I know a lot of you are going to say, why would you do that? Waste of money. It's what I do. This is what I love. Collecting physical media is a joy of mine. I really don't have any other vices in my life. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't go out to eat very much. So collecting physical media, this is it, man. This is it. So as a steelbook collector, this is the reason why we collect. These are beautiful. Let me show you these up close. Look at the Namor steelbook. Colorful, bright. Yes, it's chaotic, but you know what? I don't mind it. And then the other steel book with Shuri and the family, a little bit more calm, a little bit more subdued. You see every single character, but still bright and still colorful. I couldn't choose. I could not pick. So I brought home both. I couldn't help it. And I love them both. Like I said, it's like children. Even though I don't have children, it's like cats. All right, moving on because I have cats. All right. Warm Body Steelbook, 4K Steelbook from Lionsgate. You knew I was picking up this one. Why? Because I collect every single one of the Lionsgate Steelbooks. They always do an amazing job with their cover artwork. And I haven't seen this movie. This may be the movie of tonight. So I'm looking forward to watching this one for the very first time. And finally... Bubba Hotep. I did it. I did it. This is the surprise purchase of the day besides bringing home two Steelbooks. Bubba Hotep. I didn't think I was going to pick this one up, but you know what? I read the back of it. It sounds like it's going to be funny and just a good time watching it. So I figure, you know what? I'll give it a chance. I will give it a chance and I will pick it up. Plus it is Scream Factory and I am, you know, collecting the 4K slip covers from Scream Factory. So I figure why not give it a chance? No return of Swamp Thing in Best Buy today, unfortunately. So gosh darn, I could not pick up that title. But not only that, I do have a very quick little Amazon unboxing that I want to do. I haven't been ordering a ton from Amazon. So whenever I do get a package in, I'm probably just going to unbox it right here on my Tuesday videos because I want to get into this. So I don't want to wait any longer than I have to. And it's a tearaway. You know, I love my tearaway. So here we go. Boop. We cannot film this over again. I already ripped the bag. Okay. Ooh, I got a slip cover with one. Awesome, awesome. All right, so last week I wanted to pick up Till. It was $34.99 at Best Buy, and I was like, whew, no way. I was not able to price match it, but I picked it up on Amazon and it came with a slip cover. So I'm so excited, super excited. It has a slip cover. I think I paid $22.99, and I also had a gift card. So there you go. No problem there. Till well worth it. I'm trying to watch all Oscar and like award season nominated movies right now until has, well, Danielle Deadweiler, who plays the mother in this movie. She has been getting nominated. I believe she's nominated for SAG and that hasn't happened yet. So I do want to watch this film very, very soon. I got to brace myself because I know that movie is extremely difficult to watch and sad, but 
Got to do it. Got to do it. Okay. And also, bones and all. I do not believe this came with a slipcover when it released last week. So, no loss there. And like I said, I had a gift card. So, pretty much paid for it. So that is everything. That is everything that I picked up today and also what came in the mail. But the big question is, what did you find if you went out today? Comment down below and let me know which steelbook did you pick up? Shuri and the Family or was it Namor or did you pull a double dip like I did? Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you next time.